In the Youngstown State University residence halls, each of us must take deliberate steps to stay healthy and protect each other, just as a colony of penguins do to survive in the wild. Therefore, residents must take responsibility for their own health and help keep the entire community safe by stopping the spread of COVID-19 and other infections. Each day, everyone needs to assess their health before coming to campus. In the YSU app, under the YSU COVID-19 tile, click Daily Health Assessment for updated assessment questions. If you are not feeling well or have any of the symptoms listed here, you should not leave your residence hall and you will need to inform the residence hall staff immediately. These symptoms include fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Take your temperature before leaving the residence hall for the day or visit one of the temperature stations set up in your building. Be sure to clean the thermometer before and after using it. If your temperature is over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, you should remain in your room and inform the staff. If you have had contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, or if you have traveled out of the state of Ohio within the last 14 days, or if you have been ordered to quarantine by a physician or government agency, you should inform the residence hall staff and self-quarantine in your room. For students under quarantine, after informing the residence hall staff, complete the COVID-19 reporting form on the Office of Student Outreach and Support website, and Dr. Nicole Canstrolo, a staff member or designee will contact you with the number you provide to help guide you in your next steps with any support and resources that may be necessary. Whether you are in a study area, a classroom, sitting outdoors, or walking down the halls of campus buildings or in the residence halls, we ask that you remain six feet apart from each other and follow the signs and buildings that define specific directions for walking. Furniture has been moved or arranged to help you stay apart. Please do not move furniture that has been appropriately arranged and do not unstack or use chairs that have been set aside. The residence hall elevator capacity is limited to three people at a time and face coverings are required. Face coverings are critical to minimizing risks to others and must be worn in all common areas of residential buildings, including restrooms, elevators, study rooms, lounges, computer labs, kitchens, etc. This also includes Chrisman Dining Commons and the rest of campus. If a student is seen without a face covering, RAs will ask them to self-correct. If this does not occur, or if it becomes a pattern, they will be documented for non-compliance and violation of university rules. Appropriate face coverings include cloth or disposable masks, face shields, and bandanas. Keep your face covering over your mouth and nose for the best possible effectiveness. You may only remove your face covering while actively eating or drinking, using the restroom, or in the confines of your own room. Take care of your face coverings each day by washing them or properly disposing of them. We are aware that some students with disabilities may not be able to wear a face covering on campus. If an exemption or substitution is needed, please have your treating professional fill out the documentation form on the YSU Disability Services webpage and return it to that office. You must then schedule an appointment to meet with a coordinator to discuss your needs in the classroom. If you have any questions, please call the office at 330-941-1372 or email at cspds5 at ysu.edu. To help prevent the spread of the coronavirus, wash your hands thoroughly and often with soap and water. Campus buildings are now outfitted with new hand washing stations to allow everyone to wash frequently. Hand sanitizers are also available all over campus. Use them often. A maximum of two guests per resident is allowed. Only four guests total are permitted in a residence hall room at one time. Residents in triple occupancy spaces will need to schedule accordingly. This is to maintain social distancing in the building and limit points of contact. Guests may only be YSU students or immediate family members. They will be verified with photo IDs during check-in. Non-students are not permitted in residence hall buildings during this time. Guests must follow the same face covering guideline as residents. When you sit at a table, desk, or other workspace on campus, assist in keeping our penguins safe by wiping down workspaces before and after use. Dispose of used tissues promptly. Do not wait for your trash can to fill completely before emptying. Wash shared dishes and silverware promptly and thoroughly after each use. 
YSU encourages all members of the YSU community to scan into classrooms and campus spaces they're in for longer than 15 minutes. Use the QR code scanner located in the YSU app's upper corner to assist with COVID reporting and responding. Thank you to all Penguins for following these guidelines and keeping yourself and those around you safe. Be well and stay informed about COVID-19 guidelines by clicking the button on the YSU homepage.